call on the block. So we can rock up with the old rhythm and blues. Be rapping hip hop back. Call on the block. I'm back on the block. Hey, back. Come on the block. But we can hit him with the soul, rhythm and blues. Be popping hip hop back. Go on the block. Uh, back on the block. Y'all know I got to be real careful. But I got to bring this story. So in the meantime, in between time, Grand Rising family, how are you all? Hope the family is doing well. I'd like to invite y'all all to join me over on Patreon. And um, uh, let's do what we got to do over here. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to knock out a few videos because I miss you, family. And... Uh, <laughs> It's just a lot been going on. So much been going on that some of it is self-inflicted on some of these people. And some of it is is, is just really pitiful. Uh, the things that we take ourselves through because we are in an abusive relationship. And our only uh, or relationships, whether they're friendships, whether they're, um, you know, Lover relationships. Um, so some of us don't have a high standard or a high gauge right off the bat. Because in my opinion, when I began to look at the situation with um, Nicki Minaj's brother and how he molested his um, girlfriend or ex-wife's daughter, and um, Nikki put herself in a position to, of course, uh, pay money for him. And he is actually a sex offender. So, them coming from the, um, the islands and, and things of that nature, I don't want to get into all the things that they probably have been, uh, the mother probably have subjected her children to. Um, and what they were allowed to see, and the cycle was not broken, and um, you know, the marathon continues. Okay, because this story right here is probably one of the most pathetic stories of someone letting uh, a, a loved one bring them down to the lower levels of life, and it, it would be. Her husband, and I'm speaking none other than Nicki Minaj, her husband, Kenneth Petty. Anyway, it says federal prosecutors are calling for Kenneth Petty to serve 15 months in prison and pay a $55,000 fine for failing to register as a sex offender in California. Petty, Nicki Minaj's husband, must register whenever he moves following his 1995 attempt rape, attempted rape conviction of a then 16-year-old Jennifer Hall. Hall is suing Petty for allegedly trying to bribe and threaten her to recant her testimony after he was arrested in 2020 for failing to appear, I mean, to register. Petty has denied the allegations and Nicki Minaj has repeatedly defended her husband while slamming the victim's claim. Now, Nicki did the same thing when her brother, again, was accused and subsequently found guilty of raping his girlfriend's uh, minor child. There is a serious uh, sex demon that this girl has been exposed to and now her damage is coming out where she chooses to defend sexual predators as opposed to stepping back for a minute and saying, what is the through line between my brother and his situation and who I've chosen to attach myself with as a husband? I mean, it, 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 to me, it's just so obvious 
that that you can actually see how the abuse attaches itself. Okay, the law states that whenever this man moves following an attempted rape conviction of a 16-year-old girl that he attached, that he has to register as a sex offender. Now, having previously been convicted of attempted rape, defendant knowingly failed to register as an offender upon moving to California, the prosecutor said in a recent file. Now, no matter what you think about whether this is not the issue, the issue is what he's got to do. Okay? And so right now, he's going to decide that he's going to defy the law and he's got a woman that is damaged enough that is going to uh, say, no, okay, baby, it's okay. You don't got to register or whatever, but it's bringing your whole life down. You, you you look very uh, messed up simply because this happened to your brother. The timing of the defendant's the lapse in registration is concerning, given that it occurred when the defendant began dating his wife, quit his job, moved to Los Angeles, and adopted an affluent lifestyle. Petty is due to appear at a sentencing hearing on the 6th of July, where prosecutors also argued that he should pay a $55,000 fine. So now they get ready to run through your money, Nikki, because of your acceptance of, of child abuse. Your acceptance of rape and disrespect to, oh my God. Anyway, Minaj has repeatedly insisted that Penny has been wrongfully convicted and claimed that the victim, now 43, had planned to write a letter to the judge recanting her statements. Why is you? All this happened before you was his wife? And you've, ta you've taken upon yourself to take on his burden? Oh, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Mmm. Like Petty and Minaj, Jennifer grew up in the South Jamaican neighborhood of Queens, where she was raised by a woman who adopted her as an infant, she told the Daily Beast. Um, she said when she was 16, the alleged assault occurred after Petty approached her while she was walking to school on September 16, 1994. Petty allegedly came up behind her pressed an object into her back and told her to keep walking as he led her to his home. The Daily Beast records obtained by the blast says. Once they arrived, Penny forced her upstairs and began to rape her at knife point before she managed to escape after striking him with a bottle. Jennifer immediately reported the incident, went to the hospital for an examination. When she returned home, she said her adoptive mother told her, sorry, you got raped, but you should have screamed. Wow. Petty denied Jennifer allegations when he was arrested, telling the investigators, I didn't do anything. His parents told Jennifer's mother that the teens were dating. She said even though she insists that they weren't. Well, this is just all bad. All bad. I think I was always felt just like people wanted me to be a liar, she told the Beast. Petty was ultimately convicted in 1995 on four counts. First degree attempted rape in the first degree. Second degree assault. Second degree unlawful imprisonment. And criminal possession of a weapon. He was sentenced to four years in prison in order to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. And now he out here spending Nikki's, Nikki's money, wearing Timberlands, flash money. Got all the glitter of a monkey. And Nikki, oh, ain't nothing queen about you, honey. You are a broken woman. And anybody that know what brokenness look like, you should be a poster child to get with this guy who is already a 
okay, y'all, I'm gonna let it go. Because, she, you know, she reported starting dating this guy after he got out of prison when he was 21 and she was 16. He landed back behind bars in 2006 after pleading getting guilty to manslaughter in the shooting death of Lamont Robinson. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison and served seven before being released. In 2019, he married Minaj. The couple moved to California. They had a child together the, the next year. So over the course of two decades, he was repeatedly warned that if he moved to another state, it would be his responsibility to follow any local, city, federal, international laws regarding the registration. But he decided he don't want to do it. And so um, he ain't going to do it. And so she's got, uh, he, she's co-signing his behavior and now has a child with a sexual predator and think this is good? Okay, maybe it's me. Y'all let me know what y'all think because, I, I, you know, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm too old-fashioned. But I need to know what y'all think about this whole craziness. All right? All right, I'll see you in the next video.